Okay, this is a super quick video to show you how to add royalty-free music to your videos inside of Waver. Now I'm choosing royalty-free music because I'm using music that I've downloaded from YouTube. So you need to go to your YouTube studio, go to audio library, and then choose the audio that you want. So I've actually downloaded this Ice and Fire because it's a, quite a long one and that's what I need and it's royalty free because we're here in YouTube. By using this audio lab you agree with the YouTube terms and pretty much means that you'll never get a strike on your account with YouTube. So this is why I'm using this and also because it's longer. So now let's go back to Wave. I already uploaded my recording here. Now what I want to do now is add that audio. So here I come over to the audio and I want to upload my own. So I click uploads click upload and I have that in here which is an mp3 I'm going to open it up and it's going to upload into wave.video so as it's uploading there you can see it's coming in nicely now I'm going to add this to that video and once I do that I'll be able to actually use it so I'm going to click add here now it's going to be a bit longer than my video as you can see so let's get to the end here and I put the cursor here and then I'm going to use the snippet tool to cut it and then I'm going to highlight this section and I'm going to delete that bit. So now my music is as long as my video. So if I come to the beginning I can press play and my music's there. Now if you want to reduce the volume of the music just click on the music timeline bit, come up here where the volume is, I'm going to bring it down to 50%. There's no speaking in this video, which is why I want to have the music on. So 51% is fine. Fade in, I'm going to put fade in. Just one second and fade out, I'm going to put five seconds. So what happens at the beginning of the, of the video, it will gradually fade in. And at the end of the video here, it will gradually fade out. And reduce in sound. Perfect, so then once you're happy and everything's done, all you need to do is come up here, click publish, download the video, render it, so Wave will just pull everything together so it will gel that volume and the audio to the video that I've already created and we're all ready to roll. Okay, so we're almost there now. Once it hits 100% and the little whirly bit here stops spinning, we'll be able to download this video and then I'll just quickly show you the finished video so that you can see exactly how I've added that audio that I downloaded from YouTube, uploaded it into the wave.video editor and added it to my video. So here we go. So I'm just going to download that now. And that's going to download to my computer. So I'm just going to save that. And then I'm going to open that up and I'll play it for you. So there's the video. So if I press play, you can just hear what it sounds like. Okay, so this was just a super real casual look at what I'm doing and how I'm using wave.video. So my name's Anita Wong. I'm a video marketing consultant and teacher, and I help you to learn how to use video tools and use video to enhance your marketing online. Don't forget that if you have any questions about using audio on your videos in wave.video or on any other software, then drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them, whether it's in the comments or with a video. And don't forget, if you can, to subscribe to my channel and do share this video with your friends and colleagues if you think that they might find it useful. Okay, see you soon.